Manchester United make, huge offer, for Brentford's Ivan Tony, Sir Jim Ratcliffe isn't messing about. United have reportedly targeted the B's striker this summer. The future of striker Ivan Tony will be a hot topic this summer, and it appears Manchester United have made an opening offer to Brentford for the hotshot. The 28-year-old will have a year left on his B's deal this summer, meaning the London side risk losing Tony for nothing if he does not pen fresh terms. In January, Tony returned to action after being suspended for eight months by the FA for numerous breaches of its player betting rules. Since returning to the pitch, Tony has scored four goals in 16 games, and has also scored his first goal for England on his second cap for the Three Lions. Tony is in contention to be involved in Gareth Southgate's squad for Euro 2024 this summer, and it remains to be seen if the striker will want his future resolved before or after the tournament. One team that appear to be interested in Tony's services and clearly need reinforcements in the striking department are United after having very limited personnel in that area of the pitch. Rasmus Hoyland has been the only recognized fit striker for much of the season, with Anthony Marshall being out injured and Eric Ten Hag's side not being able to bring any more forwards in last summer or in the January transfer window. This summer will also be the first one in which Sir Jim Ratcliffe's Ineos firm will have been in situ for at United, which has seen the firm hold a 25% minority share in the Old Trafford club and oversee full control of its football operations. And reports suggest that United have begun making moves in the transfer market ahead of the summer window opening, with Tony in their sights. As per Team Talk referring reports in Spain, United are said to have presented an initial offer close to 70 million euros, 60 million pounds, to Brentford, for Tony's services. Thought there is the potential of receiving some 60 million pounds for a player who could walk away for free in little over a year's time. Brentford are reported to not just accept the first offer they receive. While United could have to look for other forms of negotiation to reduce the cost. Time will tell when it comes to where Tony will be plying his trade next season and beyond, but whichever side lands his services will be getting a proven Premier League goalscorer and a boost to their firepower potential.